good day friends it is me HL Mod Tech and I am back with another 3D printing project so let's get cracking all right everybody we are here with the laser man and we are combining it with 3D printing so I climb a place called Mount Pisgah and I like to leave a little scavenger hunt I have little 3D printed things and check it out I am engraving my HL Mod Tech underneath it now friends, when I did this one, I put a piece of Play-Doh down and I set this so it was flat and then I figured out it would be slicker if I had a 3D printed mount for the little gators. But now I can take a blank one and they just snap in to that exact opposite area. Easy peasy. So I've got a flat surface to laser cut on. Friends, let me show you really quickly how this part, which you just saw as printed white, was created. So this gator is a project. I'll make sure that tutorial is up in the corner. It was created by a 6th grader, Drake. And then as you can see, I took it and I flipped it. This is just using the mirror tool, so it's upside down. And then I dropped it to the edge of the work plane. You can see it pokes through just a little bit. I brought out a rectangle and I stretched it so that it was going to hold most of my gator. Then I did control D and I nudged this across with a shift nudge and a bunch of little nudges so that there was a tiny gap in between. I completed that all the way across. And then when I was done I took those two and I grouped them. What this does is it gives me that imprint where this gator can snap in. Now there was one thing we had to notice, there is a pin for the eyeballs. If you look over here, I can actually put filament in there when they're done printing. So I solved that, I'm going to just do show all because I hit it, by just taking a cylinder, stretching it all the way across, making it poke underneath, and then I grabbed those and grouped them. Finally, you can see how this is lower right here. I did not need all this material, so watch this if I double click. You can see I just added some rectangles, didn't even measure, I just nudged them into place, and boom, there is the final part that I exported and you saw sitting on the laser cutter a moment ago. Friends, let me set this up with the laser man and show you how it works. All right, so we've got the laser man powered on. I'm gonna lift this up quite a ways so I can move it into position. I'll keep it out here so that it's easier for you guys to see in the video. I've got the laser connected so I can just shift nudge in light burn to move it out there. Of course we need to grab our guide from the handy area where it resides. Loosen it down. Once again, love that it is only one screw to loosen and adjust. I'm going to get that exactly where I want it tighten it in make sure that that comes out the way I want and friends let me get that design in there and show you how we're gonna line it up so real quickly this is my HL mod tech I have saved this as an image of course I've got it tiny and right now if we hit frame of course if we hit fire we can see where it's at and if you hit frame you can see that it fits pretty decent on the one that it's on right now. Now that was an accident. I'm going to do a couple control nudges and move it just a little bit different. Do a control nudge to the left. Once again, I'm going to hit frame. And I think I'm actually going to go with that, which was just dumb luck. Now I need to do this four times, so watch this trick. Control D shift nudge all right friends so i'm going to mark the position of this one by drawing a rectangle in the exact same spot notice it is now there but i'm going to not let it output then i can take this image and i'm going to get rid of it I accidentally drew another one i'm going to get rid of that now since that one's not going to output, watch this when I hit frame, we'll be able to get a quick look at how close we are. Now after five of those micro nudges, I got it exactly where I wanted and we're ready to continue. Alright, so now that we've got that lined up and nudged into place, let's use that same trick to mark it 
So we're just doing a rectangle from corner to corner. And then if we select our other two images and do shift select, shift select, we can now do control D and I'm gonna do shift nudge twice and then a couple of nudges to get it exactly where we want. Let me double check that measurement. I think with two shift nudges and two normal nudges, we matched it up. I'm gonna test it by simply drawing a rectangle again. Let's click on this one right here. And let's trace that rectangle shape. And let's check our distance with the rectangle. If we just go from here to here, you can see that rectangle is 12.696. Let's check this one right here. It is 12.6.96. Pretty simple, and it proves our parts are in the right spot. I'm going to real quickly make sure I've got the correct settings for each one. If I click on that one, notice it shows image. So I'm going to put no show on those. Bingo, they are all gone. That means if I select all these, they are all the lines. So just like that, we have got everything set up and we're ready to send it to the laser cutter. And now I'm going to move the laser the same way I was moving the images. So here is a shift nudge. And that looks a lot farther than I thought it was gonna be. So I think I am just gonna frame this right now and see what it looks like. Man, I think that's gonna work, friends. It's time to grab some goggles. Real quickly, I'll let you see. I'm doing a speed of 3,000, one pass, and I'm doing an interval of 1.5, 50% power. Friends, I've got my goggles in place. Let's make something magical. Alrighty friends, let's check it out. There you go, HL Mod Tech YouTube. Bam, 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 bam. How slick is that? And of course I can take them out. They're ready for Mount Pisca and I can reuse the blank as many times as I need. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.